Hello, Internet! We are back on Pokemon Showdown, we're going to do some more games with this Gravity Team, uh, which I'm hoping you've been enjoying watching. Um, this guy seems to have ran away already, so uh, here we go, he's back, good. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I like the look of this team, actually, um, but I always prefer Scizor over Mobile, honestly. But um, because it's got the Thunderous, I'm going to go the Sableye route, Sableye Gengar, Whimsicott, and... Xerneas? Let's go Xerneas. I think we've got to go Xerneas this time. Um, I'm faffing around with the timer. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, opponent. I'm not trying to put you off or anything. I'm just just bumbling. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope you've been you know, enjoying this. Like, I'm pretty sure I've said in, in like, at least the first video that um, I did think about twice. Uh, I did think twice about using this team on YouTube just because it's not the most competitive team. Um, it is just sort of click moves and hope in a way but I suppose by doing this we can see how successful a team like this is but also see what other people are using as well we are still pretty new into the format so um, seeing this thunderous though I'm not too um, not too happy to see it because I really don't want this Gengar getting paralyzed but there's not really too much I can do to prevent that and especially if he goes for like a follow me taunt so I'm gonna go for a taunt on this thunderous um, and just protect Gengar here. Um, there's no way he's knocking out my Sableye unless he goes for like a Thunderbolt and a Dazzling Gleam. Um, so I'm still feeling okay to potentially get my Gravity next turn unless he does go for that Follow Me and Taunt onto Sableye because then that'll burn up my Mental Herb. He'll be able to Taunt me again next turn. Um, he won't be able to like Follow Me or anything but I need the Gravity really. I mean I don't necessarily need Gravity to win games with this team but it does help a lot obviously as we've seen in the last videos this team is geared towards using gravity a lot I've got hypnosis on Gengar I've got um, grass whistle on Whimsicott as well okay so he goes for the taunt but he doesn't go for the follow me so I'm really happy about that um, he does get the tailwind up though um, I can um, gravity because he can't taunt me and I mean, he could just like go for a Thunderbolt and an Air Slash onto the Gengar here now, which is potentially an issue, uh, and I can't protect it again. So, hmm, I'm just gonna have to hope it survives this turn. I think. Ooh, and I don't flinch. Wow, lucky, lucky, lucky. Um, this switch is very predictable. Um, it's probably gonna Air Slash my incoming. Whimsicott. Nope, he doesn't though. Um, and this means that I can grass whistle the Togekiss and hex the Thunderous. I'm hoping again that the Thunderous doesn't wake up. Which it doesn't. And it mm, gets a you know a, a chunk on it. So, the, ooh, this turn, what did he go for? Um, he went for Thunderbolt last. I could encore him into the Thunderbolt, but um, he's probably going to go for a Taunt or a Thunder Wave or something this turn. So I'm actually going to go for a Moon Blast and a Protect here, just to be safe. Yeah, he does wake up, and he does Taunt the Whimsicott. Hmm. Uh, but at least the Thunderous is gone now. And, um, hmm. Yeah, so Thunderous is, is a big issue for this, but... Ooh. But we're still not in the greatest of, uh, greatest of, uh, of positions. I mean, if he wakes up with Togekiss and goes for a follow me, then that's going to have a guaranteed sleep turn next turn, if I'm going for the Hypnosis. Uh, but otherwise, everything's just going to get knocked out by a Water Spout if he does that. Um, Togekiss fell asleep. Um, could have woken up. So it's a 50-50 if Togekiss wakes up, basically. And it does wake up. Is he going to go for a Tailwind? No, it's not. It's just going to go for the knockout onto uh, onto Thingy, which is fair enough. But Whimsicott is back, and um, I'm going to go for a Gravity again and an Encore. No, that doesn't work. Um, oh, I think I'm stuffed. I think I think I'm screwed. <laughs> um, so redirection, apparently redirection um, and thunderous is a bit of a problem for this. Um, yeah, because if I encore him into follow me, then like so what? 
<laughs> I can just... Um, he can just keep water spouting. Uh, Whimsicott does have a focus sash, so I can survive one, definitely. But I think I've got to taunt the Togekiss here. And... Go for... A Grass Whistle, maybe? Yeah, so at least the Togekiss does go to sleep. Um, but... Oh, an Origin Pulse. Um, not a Water Spout. But... I mean, I guess the game isn't completely over yet. Because I can Geomancy here. And if I hit this Grass Whistle... So this is a 55% chance. Um, but I miss it. But I do get my Geomancy, so I mean... If his last one is Mobile, then... I'm not in the worst of positions. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna just gonna dazzling gleam here because I don't want him to sort of follow me a, a moon blast kind of thing. Wow, that that did a um, not much actually. I'm impressed with that. This Doga Kiss is probably EV to survive um, a plus two dazzling, you know, two plus two dazzling gleams. Uh, that critical hit, uh, ooh, didn't quite. Uh, help me out as much as I was hoping though but uh, it's just gonna air slash me and knock me out okay so um, so redirection is a bit of a, uh, a problem for this team but let's get into another one let's see how we can how we can do um, yeah redirection redirection and, and a big threat I guess um, yeah I'm not sure how else I could have played that really I did get a little I mean I suppose I mean you could say I got a little bit lucky missing that um, <laughs> that um, grass whistle, but I did hit the first one, and like you really can't, you can't get into that. It is 55% accurate, so obviously the chances are that you are going to hit it. But it, 55, you never really should be using uh, grass whistle outside of gravity. But with this one, we're going to go with Sableye, Sableye Gengar, Whimsicott, and Groudon. I think. Yep, let's go with them. He. Hmm, he's got his Gengar as well. I wonder if it's a Mega Gengar. Okay, Crobat and Xerneas. So I'm going to Gravity, and I'm going to... Hmm. This Crobat's going to have a Lumberry, isn't it? Like, the the bound to have a Lumberry. Is he going to Quick Guard? I don't know. I'm going to go for a Gravity, and I'm going to go for a Hypnosis on the Xerneas. He might not protect the Xerneas. He might go for a Quick Guard, expecting a Taunt. Um, and the Geomancy, but no. Yeah, okay. He goes for the Tailwind. That's, that's fair enough. And now he's probably going to go for a Quick Guard, but he hasn't got his Geomancy up, so he's not really going to be knocking out um, my Gengar, really. Um, so, mm, just in case he doesn't go for a Quick Guard, I'm going to try and taunt the Crobat. But I'm expecting he will. The Xerneas isn't going to knock out my Gengar, so yeah, there's the Quick Guard. Um, hopefully he's going to just knock out the Sableye here, which yeah, he does, but the Xerneas is asleep now. That's it, and Crobat can't really do anything, unless he's got a Brave Bird, can't really do anything to these. So, um, I'm going to go for a Grass Whistle, I think, and a Sludge Bomb, because if he doesn't Quick Guard, then he's going to sleep. If he does quick guard, then at least those two, you know, counteract themselves. And, oh, okay, he's got a Lumberry, of course he has. Um, <laughs> and um, we're getting this damage on the Xerneas, which unfortunately isn't quite enough to knock itself out. Um, now, he probably is going to go for a quick guard this turn, but unfortunately I haven't got Protect on Whimsicott to stall out the last turn of Tailwind. Um, and he's done a... I mean, I've got two turns of gravity left, but... Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to use them um, much more. Yeah, so there's a quick guard. Xerneas does wake up. Uh, unfortunately, Whimsicott does go down there. Um, because I was getting the Moonblast onto the Xerneas, that would have been the end of Xerneas. But we have not got gravity anymore, which is a bit of a shame, really. Um... So we're going to Sword Stance here and Hypnosis to Xerneas. One more turn of gravity. If it protects the Xerneas, then fair enough. Uh, I'm getting a free Sword Stance. But uh, this is not really going too well, is it? Um, I mean, Crobat is free to basically get another Tailwind off, really. 
if it wakes up. Uh, Crobat asleep, nice. This rock tomb is hopefully going to knock it out. Yeah, it does. A plus two. I was, I've gone for a rock tomb just because um, Wide Guard would otherwise completely shut down this Groudon, and I do want some rock coverage as well. Now this is interesting because my Groudon is a plus two now, and it is jolly max speed. So unless his Groudon is uh, like timid max speed with Earth Power, he can't knock out. You know, he can't outspeed and knock out my Groudon. So I'm going to protect for uh, fake outs and stuff, both of them in case he's scrappy. I don't really care if he goes for a power-up punch. Uh, eruption, okay. But, really, now I think I can just go for a precipice blade, and just in case he does go for a sucker punch, um, I'm going to go for a hypnosis on his Groudon, just in case um, he is max speed and does win the speed tie and is targeting my Groudon, um, just in case all of that things happen, you know, all of those, thing, all of those things happen. I've got a 60% chance of stopping him from doing that, so I think the chances are pretty good for me. Yeah, I do hit the hypnosis as well. He goes for a fire punch, that's interesting. But this plus two precipice blades um, will knock out the Groudon, um, the Kangaskhan. Um, I did forget that precipice blades can miss uh, because gravity isn't up anymore, but that is really an example of me clawing my way back into this. How did I win that game? Um, some sleep turns and some, uh, you know, pretty decent plays, I suppose. So, <laughs> um, let's, uh, you know, see, see what else we can do then. So we've got another... Um, Rayquaza here and Kyogre but he's got a Ferrothorn and a Talonflame um, he, he's he got Gravity well <laughs> he, he, he could have Gravity he's got Sableye and Landorus as well uh, Sableye and Landorus are the Gravity setters on this team so that's that's why Gravity splurged out of my mouth like that but uh, <laughs> um, I think we can go the. Um, I think we are going to go the Landorus way this way, just for an intimidate on this uh, uh, Talonflame, which could otherwise be an issue for us. And I think Groudon is better than Xerneas in this game. And okay, so no fur, no um, Talonflame leading, but at least we've got a nice intimidate on both of these Pokémon. You know, I'm actually going to go for a Hypnosis onto the Ferrothorn. The Rayquaza might protect or withdraw. And at minus one, a... Okay, well, I'll take that. At minus one, a Dragon Ascent. Don't think I'll knock out Gengar. But we might soon be finding out. Oh, he goes for a Sword Dance. <sighs> That's tricky. Um, I suppose an extreme speed can't affect, uh, doesn't affect Gengar though, so I can hypnosis that. Uh, Gengar is still faster. Um, and I think we're going to bring Whimsicott in. If he does go for um, an attack onto the Landorus slot, which I'm... Well, he might not do. Um, as long as he doesn't go for an extreme speed, then Whimsicott is saving its sash here. But yeah, I am faster, no extreme speed. And, oh, he's got a Lumberry. Nice. So he does, get, he does get his dragon move um, onto the Rayquaza. Uh, because he has got Sword Stance as well, I'm expecting he will have extreme speed. So um, this is pretty nasty now. Um, so I'm going to Hypnosis the Rayquaza again. And I'm going to go back into Landorus just for an Intimidate. Yeah, I thought you know, he could protect there as well. So I'm going to Hypnosis the Rayquaza again. And this time I'm going to use my Landorus to attack. Let's start rock sliding some things. Yeah, Sword Stance Rayquaza is something that I've been, you know, meaning to try out a little bit. I quite like the idea. I mean, it is pretty fast at beta 115, and a Sword Stance, you know, plus to extreme speed, nothing is going to appreciate that, is it really? So Rayquaza's asleep. Uh, Talonflame remains asleep, which is good, but at minus one, it's... It's not going to one-shot anything. And I'm just going to go for a Hex and a Rock Slide again. Yeah, so Talonflame, it was due to wake up here. Unfortunately, he does get the Tailwind off. But both of his Pokemon are, are going are going to go down here. Ferrothorn in Tailwind isn't really going to do too much. Um, I have got Groudon as well, which is pretty nice considering that he's brought his Kyogre in. 
So, yeah, Mega Gengar, again, doing some pretty work, not allowing his Pokemon to switch out. Um, like, there's so many switches. Like, switching is vital in this metagame to, you know, win the Weather War. And if you can't switch, then really you're, you're in a pretty bad way. <laughs> um, I mean, uh, uh, a Kaya growing Tailwind is going to be faster than a Scarfed Landorus. So Landorus here has got no mileage in it at all. So I'm just going to leave Landorus in to um, go down, basically. Yeah, and the Ice Beams as well, quite smartly, thinking that I might bring my Groudon in, which I am going to do now. This Groudon, though, doesn't have any fire moves. <laughs> um, so Ferrothorn, not exactly um, not exactly the, uh, the easiest thing to take care of here. Yeah, I'm, I'm still not in the in the greatest of positions, in all honesty. I'm gonna double up on this Kyogre. Ooh, that was fortunate. Um, it is leftovers, so it's not like you know a choice banded Ferrothorn or anything. So I'm not sure if that would have knocked out my Groudon. Uh, I can protect on this last turn as well to stall out the Tailwind, which I think I will do with both of them, actually. Yeah, so I'm not sure why he protected there. Maybe he expected me to protect my Groudon and um, attack, you know, one of them, I don't know. But yeah, I'm pretty safe to just go for a Sludge Bomb on this Kyogre, and and let's go for a, pres a Precipice Blades again, just to uh, whittle away at this Ferrothorn, and I miss it. So... Okay, so he goes for a leech, so we're not we're not gonna get to see if this Ferrothorn um, uh, would have knocked out the Groudon with a Power Whip or not. I'm just debating whether or not it would be better to try and cheese my way through with some Hypnosis and um, and Grass Whistles or not. I'm not too sure. Yeah, I'm like because this Groudon doesn't have f any fire moves on it. I mean, I uh, I could put Fire Punch on it maybe. Um, or maybe even just overheat, um, but it has got Swords Dance this one, um, just to for this kind of situation. But I mean, really, I, I shouldn't be losing this one. Really, I mean, three on one against the Ferrothorn. If Ferrothorn wins this, then blooming give yourself a medal, <laughs> um, because Hex isn't going to do that much damage. Obviously, it's immune to Sludge Bomb as well. So, am I going to try and cheese through this with Hypnosis? Am I going to withdraw the Groudon um, to get rid of the seeds? But Whimsicott could be quite useful here as well with Encore and and stuff. So let's just attack. Let's just do some moves. Yeah, Hex does a little bit. Precipice Blades does a bit as well. But okay, so um, maybe I'm overthinking this. As long as my Precipice Blades hit, um, I should be winning this game. I'm just going to withdraw Gengar in case he protects here, uh, just to um, prevent his uh, Ferrothorn getting too much back from Leech Seed. I don't want it to be able to survive a Precipice Blades from two lots of Leech Seed um, recoveries. But this should be um, should be another win. As long as we do hit our Precipice Blades here. Yeah, you just go for the Protect. And yeah, that means I can just Encore him into Protect now. So, the game is won. Brilliant. He should have it now, really. Yeah, so he's going to be able to protect himself next turn. So, there's not really anything that I can do here. Whatever, it's just moonblast him and sludge bomb him. Let's just go for effect is and hex. Let's not mess around with... Uh, Hypnosis or Grass Whistle. Let's just try to do some damage. And it doesn't knock him out, but he he's not going to be surviving another one, obviously. So, uh, yes, yeah, let's, let's knock him out. Tricky, yeah. Um, and he forfeits. Okay, so in interesting, interesting these uh, Rayquaza and Kyogre teams that we've been seeing going around. I always find it a little bit funny because they kind of, like, help the opponent win the weather war sort of thing. Like, if your Kyogre's got the rain up, it really doesn't appreciate its own Groudon coming in, um, its own uh, 
Rayquaza coming in to like weaken its water moves a little bit. So, uh, not sure how popular these two will uh, continue to be, but obviously, you know, they do work somewhat together. But anyway, thanks for watching this, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video, uh, some more you know, gravity games. Um, so, thanks a lot. Please like and share if you have done, and goodbye for now. Thanks, you. Thank you. Thank you for.